Hey, this is DHD, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of... Yeah, that's right. Mercenaries 2. On PlayStation 2. Now, I've already done playthroughs of this game. Well, I'm working on my second playthrough now on PC. Just because it's a different graphical quality. But the reason why I feel like doing a PS2 win is because it's not the same game at all. I mean, I originally thought that maybe it was just a toned-down version of what they put on the next-gen consoles, but when I played through it for the first time in... God, I don't remember when that was. 2018? Just out of curiosity. I was like, it feels more like the first game, but kind of like an expansion, not like a real sequel. So, with no more ado, and I will get into it now. It uses the same engine as the first game, it shares the uh, same cutscenes, all that stuff, but other than that, everything about it is completely different. Matthias, brother! Good to see you again! It has been a long time since the car. Yeah, I remember. I remember seeing your big ass as you ran away. The money dried up. I cut my losses. You should have done the same. I got paid. I always get paid. I need your guns. No one sees the boss armed. Blanco, this is your friend? Matthias, this is Ramon Salano. Mr. Salano What's is... the contract? Last week, General Carlos Carmona and his soldiers attempted a coup. A small faction in Carmona's army objected. They captured him and are holding him prisoner. And you got some great plan for General Carmona and his army? I have great plans for Venezuela. So, it's me against a bunch of VZ soldiers. That's it. Will you accept the contract? Sure. I'll take your money. Why I just get thirsty? Welcome to Venezuela. Solano's paperwork arrived, so we're good to go. I've hacked into a CIA satellite. I can see you and most of the area around you. I'm working off a laptop connected to a cell phone here, so don't expect miracles. Leave the miracles to me. You just keep me pointed in the right direction. They made the cutscenes so small. And who doesn't miss those load times? They weren't that bad in the PS2 days. They really weren't. I don't think the load times started getting really bad until the PS4 when they had these massive, expansive worlds like Red Dead and uh, GTA 5. And they just had storage devices that couldn't keep up. Bloodborne was pretty bad also, even though it didn't have particularly long load times. You just died constantly, so you saw them all the time. GTA and Red Dead's were the worst. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get to shore. There should be a dock up ahead. I'll fill you in when you're on the beach. Resistance on the ground is heavy. There's What's the name of that ahead. ship? You need to destroy it before the soldiers can ready themselves. I wanted to do a PCSX2 of this game, but I couldn't get it upscaled properly. It just has massive difficulties with the I'm upscaling the process rendering. Right a lot of games do, but I can usually fix those games. This one I couldn't do. That building should be no match for a surgical I can kind of see it right now, like if, um... Pardon me, I just ate. Let me look at some of the things I had problems with in the PC Access 2 process. Like, look around Matthias Nilsson's character. You can kind of see it here. There's like a slight... I don't want to say shadow, but kind of like a glow around him. Oh, wrong button. What is... Oh, okay, so they... That's from the first game, alright. Yeah, and the trees in particular had like these... This glow around them from the upscaling. I couldn't fix it, it looked terrible, so I thought I'll just play through PS2. No PCSX2 settings video for you guys. 
And I thought, if I gotta play through the game in software mode, why bother just play it on PlayStation? It'll give me a little bit of nostalgia using this wire thing anyway. And my, uh... God, when did I get that PlayStation 2 I'm looking at? 2002? Still works. That thing doesn't even have a thermal paste in it, just a bunch of thermal pads. I opened it up to clean it after having it for like 18 years and I'm like, what the hell's all the thermal paste to this thing? There ain't any. Probably turn the volume up a little bit more. I was expecting this game to be a lot louder. Yeah, I have my uh, remote control velcroed down because a fucker keeps falling off my end table. It's ghetto, but it works. Am I supposed to blow them up? Do I have C4? No, I got a surgical strike. Oh shit, I forgot about my stopwatch. Well, I can't see it, I'll just have to guess. Roger, target received. That was the easy part. This island's swarming with soldiers, and I'm reading a tank up ahead on satellite. Oh no, not a tank. That should help even the odds. This does the uh, mag swap differently too. In Mercenaries too, if you have any ammo left in the magazine, it just discards it. It's gone forever. This one does it like most games. Or somehow, magically in video game world, where if you use... If you're using 30 round magazines and you shoot 10 rounds, you have 20 left. You put in a new mag, those the cartridges automatically jump out of the one magazine you just discarded, went into the new one, and how's it work? Who knows? Maybe you've got four hands. It is rather convenient for gameplay though, but It's a puma. Yeah, you can see already that this is just like Mercenaries 2 plus. Or Mercenaries 1 is an expansion where you carry a lot more rocket ammo. It's different. Still got the mini games, but. What's this score that they got going on on the left hand side? It's really gay. I do kind of like how they have the endpoint point of impact separate from where you're aiming. He was hiding in a tree. How did they get up there? There's no ladders or anything. They just like jump when you want down. No machine gun to switch to? Nope, just a cannon. Big ass, whatever that is. I remember those structures from first mer mer mercenaries. Get to Carbona. We can't risk 
Hammer is getting shot. You'll need to clear the area before you can rescue him. Can I destroy the building too, or will that kill Carmona? Mona. Let's find out. Buildings don't have health bars like they do in the second game. Yeah, like I said myself, I haven't played this game for quite a while. At least six years. And that was the first time I played through it. So, a lot of this is new to me, too. I remember very little. I do remember the airstrikes and how to get the airstrikes, especially the good ones being a little tricky in this game. No more Puma tank for me. It's been fun. I shoot you in the ass now. I don't think that tank would survive a RPG to the ass. How do you jump? Oh. Circle. back to having one type of ammo box is nice. I didn't like how the game separated it into two. One for um, rifles and things like that and one for rockets and other types of explosives like uh, grenade launcher rounds, 40 millimeter. Go get Carmona. We need to get him out of here. I'll have an extraction chopper standing by. Pretty car. That big ass lock. About as big as his midsection. Save game. I'll just overwrite my old one. I was going to start off with a little intro video from the end of the game, but then I thought, why bother? Who the hell are you? I'm Nielsen. Solana sent me here to get you. Where's the rest of your team? I suffice. I'm a so you're a merc. He knows a good deal when he sees it. Let's get he the hell out. He looks like a sleazebag. Matthias, welcome back. Job well done, brother. You should have come along. People running and screaming in fear. You would have fit right in. Well, they have the oil. Universal Petroleum will Excuse be our first. Mr. Solano. Ah, Matthias. I have another job that needs doing. First, I get paid. I'm sorry, the job is not for you. The job is you. Hot West. Tomorrow, General Carmona's troops will roll into the capital and I will be Venezuela's new leader. Sure. This means there will be many bounties on my head. I can't have your friends hunting me. It's bad for business. So is this. Now I have to kill you. Carmona, Carmona is carrying a Luger that's got like a six inch barrel. Did they just edit that out? There. Both games are rated T. No! After orchestrating what analysts are already referring to as a military coup, General Carmona invited billionaire entrepreneur Ramon Solano to act as the civilian leader of an interim government. Matthias, please, election. sit down. He can't. He got shot in the Upper ass. Thigh. We're leaving Maybe Venezuela tonight. No. Solano controls the army now. It's not safe to operate here. I'm used to people trying to kill me, but this is something personal. Yeah, no one shoots him in the ass and gets away with it. And he didn't get paid. I'm being told now that Ramon Solano is giving a press conference. Movie's kind of buff. It is time the Venezuelan people stop paying for the greed authority. I thought she'd have a figure a little bit more like Fiona. Dearly for our oil. From this day forward, everybody pays. Yeah, everybody pays. Blanco Cabo. You. Viva Venezuela! 
everybody pays. I really wish they would have gave this game a better story. to affect change who's not a general or a all eyes now turn to the Latin American country, which possesses an estimated one-third of the world's strategic oil reserve. The oil revenues should be going to the people. It belongs to them. It's best. It doesn't matter how you spend it. Just Carmona dies. The one on power. Now the one on the of the favor of any These people have suffered poverty and injustice through administration after administration. Violence broke out between long time they're not opposed to Solano, they're opposed to anyone running the country but them. Is there something very true there. No one opposed to Solano, they're opposed to anyone running the country but them. Sounds like your typical Marxist. Nobody be paying attention to this guy. The administration moved into the government's offices in Caracas today, flanked by a military escort led. Tell me that profit isn't being made at the expense of the people. President Solano, meanwhile, promised to throw his own considerable resources. I do remember reading that bullshit explanation of power. They were going to give the people elections. And once they found out that uh, people weren't going to vote to keep the Bolsheviks in power, they got rid of the elections. Or manipulated them, one of the two. I forget where I read that. Long cutscenes are always weird. Might as well have another drink. Punch and lemonade. When did this come out? Two thousand and eight. I always have a hard time remembering if it's two thousand eight or two thousand nine. A lot of good games came out time that year. To get some payback. Head over to Solana's estate and take care of his flunkies. Try not to let them take anything off the grounds. If they're moving it, it's valuable, and may be important to Solano too. Yeah, there were... The other iteration of this game starts you off at a roadside. Where the hell am I? Where the hell is the map? Oh, okay. Can I get a... I am not taking that thing. What is that, a trawler? Okay, maybe I am taking it, if I can. I don't think I can. Oh, you can swim in this one. The original Mark's game. You can swim in. Can I take this? Oh, okay, I can. This is going to be a long ride. This is like a human smuggling vehicle. Just throw them in on top of the fish. Bad part is they probably actually do that. I've heard about some of these vessels that humans get smuggled on over from Asia, wherever, sorts of countries. They're in there with the rats. There's more slavery now than there ever has been in any other point in time, more human smuggling. All the while, people were still bitching about shit that happened 200 years ago. The water looks so green and not in a good way.
think the water in the first mercenaries actually had kind of like a bluish tint to it. I know they wanted to give this game like a tropical flavor to it. It is Venezuela, but it, I think the color palette they used turned out all that well. This is my amphibious assault. Takes me a while to get there, but I'm coming. Chose the most direct path. Was probably quicker than going by car anyway. Get out of the boat. You need to clear out the concentrations of soldiers, then go after the local commanding officer. That should leave us in control of the estate. Well, this place doesn't look all that much different. Stop those trucks from leaving the ground. Whatever they're carrying, it's probably worth keeping. Oh, probably shouldn't have blown it up then. There's a couple of jeeps moving. Get ready. Stop that truck from leaving the ground. You ain't going nowhere, bitch. Why is that red? They make the C4 obvious enough in this one? Yeah, we played through the first game and we didn't think that the C4 was obvious enough. So we're gonna make the box like this big and write C4 on it so you don't miss it. Time for some grenades. This plays just like the first mercenaries. What I said, the, said at the beginning, it's more like an expansion and not a sequel. This version of it definitely is. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but if you went into this, if you didn't have a PS3 when this came out, which I am really curious, by 2008, how many people did not have PS3s? But if you bought this thinking you're getting a newer game, you might be a little angry. Why was he care? Whatever. I think they all had AKs. Being able to carry more rocket ammo is definitely nice. I don't know if that carries on later in the game when you get the anti-tank missile that locks on to shit. Because that gun isn't in the other iteration of Mercenaries 2. Now in the new Mercen- or the other Mercenaries 2 you get the RPG, the anti-tank rocket, I think it's called, that the USA gives you. And then you get the fuel air rocket, which is not in this game, I know that. Everything in this game is just recycled from the first, maybe with a few new added things. What am I supposed to do with this? Verify the commanding officer. Where are you at, bitch? You up there? How do I get up there? I should probably go into the mansion. It's Nielsen, oh, this is definitely different. This is where the tank hijacking scene is. In the oh, look, we got Spec Ops guys. 
these guys can only be killed with a headshot. And he's got a... What is that? I think that's a... There's two different types of light machine guns that the Soviets used early on. There's the RPD and the... RPK. I think that might be the RPD. The latter one was an improved version. Attack! Attack! They both fired the same ammo, but the, the newer version had like a heavier barrel, stuff like that made for sustained fire. Even first time I took my AK to the range, I fired... 60 rounds through it, just 60, and that barrel was red hot. So I can imagine if you had a light machine gun like that, that's meant to just pump out ammo, that's... You'd need a heavy barrel. Or at least some, some type of uh, way to swap the barrels out. This is kind of like the tutorial from the first game. But who's going to come pick him up? I don't have any faction contacts yet. Allies. Why are they here already? Allied nations, you have the global governments here. We'll make everything all right. We'd never do anything malevolent. I mean, really, what? What the hell is the AN? Well, in the game, it's called the AN, but it's the UN. What's the UN doing here? Uh, military capacity. Between the house and the truck, I'd say this went well. Looks like this is my crib now. Not really sure how this score system works. Okay, this is our place now. Where's Solana? No one knows. Besides, we have no money. That's fine. Get us some money then. It looks like Universal Petroleum has some contracts. Just do like um. Universal Petroleum. Huge oil company. Drone power. Just print that shit. Run by a woman called Rubin. Yeah, Lorraine Rubin. You know? I know it's not right. inflation, it's just extra Look money. That. She deals with Blanco. And if we find Blanco... Look at his walk, he's around. like... Like the Morrowind walk. Alright, I think that's where I'm going to cut this one off.